those of you who will be wondering, what's up? Why is she dancing? Well, I think for every new day that we have been given the gift of, we should actually wake up dancing. Yes, it is worth dancing the very first thing when you open your eyes in the morning. Honestly, I feel like it's a good thing to do. And then the best way to show gratitude. Anyways, we're not here to talk about dancing, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I am here today. And why I'm excited is because this very minute, some clients will go into Peak Terrace 2 in Abidjo will be getting allocated the terraces mostly and yes I know and I agree with you that it's been uh, wow that yeah, just a minute right <laughs> on this project so for you to get the details of what how you all went down and of course the official launching of the land that we're selling now because no more houses they've converted the remaining into service plots for sale so you need to watch this video to the very end so that you can witness the entire event today so i'm going to see you guys at the end of this video Okay, I can see we have realtors coming. I know some people are still on their way. Uh, as they arrive, we will also recognize their presence. This is Peter S2, and I'm sure we are surprised that um, there are lands available. I know that sometime 2022, when we launched Victor S2, we launched buildings here. And today, based on popular demand, based on popular demand, I know we've had a couple of calls asking is there no land is there land here so the management thought it wise that okay let's um, launch some land so we have close to 100 plots of land here this is Victor Esu, and then we have a couple of plots available for sale as you can see the land is accessible you can access the land this is the vast expanse of land and then um, we have our buildings there as you can see, our terraces are standing. We have our terraces standing. We are through with the carcasses and uh, we just have the finishing to go. And um, for those that subscribe, we had at some point given an update that within the end of the second quarter, we'll be handing over some units here. And um, we also believe that this place is going to be habitable. And then uh, we're also aware that we have some clients here who are here for their physical allocation. And um, I know that the, the, the units have been, um, they have been labeled. So after, within the course of the program, we'll be having to show you, okay, this is your part of um, the building. This is your building. And then um, you can be able to watch the progress of work here. So Peter also has a governor's consent. Of course, you know that a governor's consent is a very good title. So you don't, know, you don't, you don't need to be scared of anything because it has a very good and solid title. One thing with the efficacy is that we don't sell just anything. We sell properties with good title. And when you purchase properties with us, you are sure that you are getting value for your money. For these terraces that, we're here, that are here, we sold them at about 30 million, 35 million, as of 2022. And then um, you wouldn't want to guess what the value of these terraces are at this point in time. So you are sure that when you invest with us, you are sure that you are going to be getting good returns and investment. I will have the architect just run us through the layout, the land, and we will proceed from there. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Still on um, existing protocols. Uh, basically, we'll be looking at um, the lots of lands we have um, on the layout. We have um, about eight um, pieces of 600 square meters. Um, we have 500 square, um, six pieces of 500 square meters. We also have um, three pieces of 450 square meters. We have um, one, a piece of um, 400 square meters. We have 16 pieces of 300 square meters. 
and some other lots are roughly seven. Um, our three bedroom um, terraces, the duplexes, we have um, 20 of them. As you can see, some of them are ongoing. Construction is ongoing. We have um, 26 pieces of um, two bedroom terrace duplexes. And um, we, has, we have 10, 10 pieces of um, a one bedroom terrace duplex. Um, some, um, we have um, general parking lots inclusive, some recreation areas and um, gate houses. I think that's all for now. So please, if you have questions and you want to know more about these properties and uh, details about the estates, please, uh, I'd like to see your hands. The terraces that are being allocated today, are they being allocated as carcasses or because <laughs> I was actually expecting to see uh, finished? So that's just my question. Okay, so I know um, for we, most time, okay. when uh, we say allocation, we interpret it to be handing over. But allocation simply means getting to know your property. So what we are trying to say to you today is for clients to get to know that this is my answer, because most clients will just get, what we do is we send your allocation letter to you. Most times, you either get, either get it via mail, or you come pick it up in the office. And sometimes they, get, they don't get to know, okay, which of these um, houses is mine and all that. So the allocation that is happening, which is the physical allocation, is simply getting to know this is my building because we are almost at the finishing stage. So if you get to know your building, you'll be able to monitor the progress. So the allocation is not handing over. So the process is this you first get your allocation, then sometimes you can decide to visit sites or we do the general physical allocation. Then after that, we do what we call a pre-handing over inspection. And that pre-handing over inspection is simply about 95 to 90% completed. And you call the other observation you need to make on the building. Okay, some people also want to do what we call modification. Now, also one of the reasons why we also do allocation at this point is some people, during the course of their finishing, want to say, okay, I don't want to use the tiles that the company is using. I want a different house. Can you do my own POP like this and all that? So if you're able to identify the exact one that is your own, you cannot do what you call the modification if you so wish. So the allocation is simply getting to know your exact unit so that each time you come to site to see the progress of work, you can easily identify that, okay, this is my unit. So that's that. Okay, do you have, do have any other question? Uh, for the benefit of those that are buying uh, lands only, um, do you have um, a prototype for the land of building uh, to be constructed on the land? Or whoever if the, the investor has a right to choose his own design? Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. So, for those who are conversant with the purchasing or selling land from us, we have what we call a construction requirement. Now, we are not after your design of building. You can design whatever design you have. But we have um, restrictions as to the height and to the number of units. So, if you're going up, you only do two floors, meaning the ground floor and the first floor. And if you want to go higher, you only have to do a pet floor. And the pet floor should be not more than 30 percent of the entire of land the, area of the land area so the first floor is not supposed to cover the whole building so just 30 percent so the 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 parameters is the ground floor the first floor if you must go higher the first floor that must not be more than 30 percent so that's that then for the number of units you can only do for a 600 square meter you can only do four family units so meaning that you can only do four units of terraces just that we have one, two, three, four. So if you're doing a terrace, you can only do four units of terraces. If you're doing flats, you can only do four units of flats. And then if you're doing a bungalow, so whatever you're doing, if it's a 600 square meter, you can't exceed four units. And if it's a 450 square meter, you can't exceed three units. And if it's a 300 square meter, you can't exceed two units. Now, without, of course, you can't do ten tenement um, apartments. When I mean tenement, it's the Usual face me and face you talk about, so it's not allowed. And you may wonder why do we have that restriction as a number of units? Now, we don't want an estate that is so crowded. Not uh, somebody buys a 600 square meter and you're building 12 flats. 
barracks. So, so by the time you have that's a barrack. So by the time you have you have um, 30 people buying 600 square meters. And then they are building 12, 12 units. You can imagine what that place would look like in just a, a very small location. So that's why we have the station so that you can have your space too. So that's that for that. So if you're doing uh, 300 square meters, it's two family units. If you're doing 450, it's three. And if you're doing 600, it's four. And your height must not be higher than the story building and the first floor. And we also have some professional requirements that are in alignment with the Lagos State. Uh, um, government and regulations like the set bars and all that. So those are things you get to know when in the course of the transaction. But it's also contained in, some, in the contract of sale. So if you pick the contract of sale, you will see the, the construction requirements. And this thing I've stated, I also need to them. Let's pray. Father in Jesus' name. Amen. has been done for the terraces. Now, like Barista Gloria explained earlier, um, when we say physical allocation, what it means is that you can see, I mean, your units identify. So it's like made of identification with your unit. So like this unit I am right now is for my clients. And then we have a couple of other units that are for my clients. So I have identified what their units are, how they are placed, how they are positioned, the level of work they have got into. Now that's the most important thing. So for this unit now, they have started the internal, they've done the internal plastering, right? I mean the master bedroom, but they've not done the roofing. Okay, no tiling, no internal doors. There's still quite a lot of work to be done here. Now, from this level, it is now my job as a realtor to sit with the client and make sure that the timeline given is delivered. And at that time, when everything is completed, we can then take the key. We can now do the handing over of the key. And that does not really require any ceremony whatsoever. Every individual just takes their key and then start moving in. Now, the other reason why this is important is that at this level now, you can decide to now say, you know what? I don't want the basics you guys want to provide. I'm not interested in your tiles. I'm going to do my own tiling, the internal doors. I want to do my own thing. So from this point, if you want to do your own tiles, you have your own specific way Wears, like from the toilet wares to the kitchen wares, anything you intend to now, you know, put in place in terms of your own taste, you can pick it off from here. And this is why this ceremony is quite important. So that they don't get to the point where, I mean, imagine if they're doing this handover or allocation when everything is fixed. And then you don't, you come back, you don't like the towels. You start breaking things, you start breaking the wall, you start, you know, doing a lot of it. But this is like a carcass. And then it's good that you come in now, they are showing you your units. And from this point, you can make easy adjustment as you want. So yes, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, on today's allocation slash launching of the land. You still have land for sale right here in different square meter. 300 is available, 400 is available, 500 is available, and then 600 square meter. Now, when you're calling us to find out which, you need to know which one, because I mean, you can see it from the layout. 
the plots are very limited. These are very small estates, right? And they are very limited. So, you also heard it that the broker, and I did a video that sh I told you guys that the building approval for this estate has to be gotten. So, uh, governor's consent is the title. It is still safe and secured. So, as we make progress on this particular estate, I'll keep giving you guys the update. Now, like I said, it's not just terraces that are here. We sold apartments and mentioned it. Though the apartments and mentioned it, the numbers that were sold were very few. It was just 10, okay? And I have quite some number out of that 10, the mensonate, which of course is in construction. I'm monitoring it and all of that. Honestly, I'm taking this project very personally because I am eager to deliver all of my clients here. Like I said to all of them that we are going to deliver this estate, even though it takes a bit of a time, but hey, we're here and we're hoping that before the end of this year, we can have all these units you're seeing done already and then we have more staff and then more are being allocated. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video uh, with us. Now, those of you who are interested in owning a piece of Abidja GRA, this is your perfect opportunity. It's a titled land. You see that there's no so much work to be done here, and you can get your allocation and start um, the process of your building approval, and then you start building. But if you want to buy it and just hold it for a while, that is also uh, that also works as well. So I'll be waiting for your call so that I can help you make your reservations here. But if you don't want to buy here, we have quite a number of other good options in our listing that is owned by FKC or any other companies that we're partnering with. Trust me, um, I am here for you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name remains Goodness Usman. And of course, I am the queen of Lalo Maker. So I say to you guys that wherever you are, please ensure that you are safe and you what? You remain Awesome just the way you are. So I say to you, oh, double.